All that aside, we got a big weekend coming up here alone just because of the marathon. So much happening. Yeah. Yes. yes. So uh, I'm going to be broadcasting tomorrow morning. I'm in for Jill. Uh, and you're going to be coming out, Zenny. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm going to run the whole thing, 26 something. Good for you. I may just do 30 miles. I know you haven't been training, so it's that's all right. amazing. We're going to start tomorrow. <laughs> that's your drive, right? Yeah. 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 And then after that, of course, we've got the UConn home game. So we'll start, of course, with the, the Hartford Marathon, the Half Marathon, the Relay, and the 5K, uh, kicking off at 8 o'clock in the morning, and the Fit Kids run is at 9.30. So initially, temperatures right around 40 for most that are going to be uh, racing, of course, and for the spectators and the volunteers, uh, it's going to be fantastic weather. By 10 o'clock, if you're running, say, for instance, the half marathon, and that's your goal time, temperature is going up about, about 10 degrees from compared to where we're starting. And then if you're aiming for four hours, for instance, for the full marathon by noon, uh, temperatures warming into the lower 60s. Wind is negligible, and we'll see plenty of sunshine. Uh, if you're going to be perhaps doing tailgating, maybe that's more your speed tomorrow morning uh, at the rent in East Hartford. Temperatures quickly going from the 30s to the 40s into the 50s. Low 60s by kickoff uh, at noon, and then warming eventually into the low 70s by the time the game wraps up. So uh, while we're enjoying dry, bright, beautiful weather with a warming trend, we're also running rainfall deficits. We've only had measurable rains so far three days this month. Uh, the total for the Hartford area, less than half an inch, our departure from normal, uh, 2.3 inches. And going back to the beginning of meteorological autumn, uh, the deficit now over six inches. So we do have some rain on our first alert forecast, not a whole lot, and it's basically six or seven days from now. So more on that in just a moment. Right now, 66, clear sky over Hartford. Uh, similar scene coming in from New Haven. You can see the shadows covering the green 68 and looking live from Southeast Connecticut as well. 65 with the north wind at 7. Uh, so high pressure basically is going to dominate uh, through the weekend and into early next week. We do have new developments uh, as we look to the east of the Yucatan Peninsula. Potential tropical cyclone number 15. It is forecast to perhaps make its way to uh, tropical storm status before making landfall and upon doing so if that happens would take on the name Nadine. Back here in Connecticut tonight, mid and upper 30s inland. Pick out where you live, the town closest to you, upper 30s, low 40s along the shoreline. And then tomorrow afternoon, uh, mid and upper 60s with an onshore wind developing along the shoreline. Meanwhile, inland will likely pop into the low 70s. So temperatures running tomorrow nearly 10 degrees above average, and we only go up from there. Mid 70s on Saturday, uh, Sunday, I should say, 78 on Monday, 77 on Tuesday, even 74 uh, for Wednesday. Are we going to get into record territory? Well, for Monday the 20th, the record is 82 for Hartford, 78 for Bridgeport, 85 for Tuesday in Hartford, 77 Bridgeport. So while it is going to be unseasonably warm, we're not forecasting record warmth. And looking beyond the weekend towards, say, Thursday of next week. This is our next chance at least for some wet weather as a cold front moves through. So that's what we're calling for at least right now. Some morning showers on Thursday and then a drop in temperature. Thursday high 60 to 65 by Friday behind that front high temperatures on, only in the upper 50s. By then that's actually typical for what we expect this time of year.